Okay, so I did not record any commentary over shooting that mule deer because uh, it was a guaranteed troll and uh, then just level 9 coyote out of nowhere. Now we gotta get that guy. I have absolutely no idea how we're going to though. He's in a terrible spot, but uh, we're gonna we're just gonna have to make the best out of this. So this is gonna be a very interesting chase. However, we do have this uh, pretty much guaranteed troll mule deer right here. So let's go ahead and grab this guy first. It is a 303.60, kind of as I expected. But uh, we got bigger uh, things to chase after right now. So let's go ahead and uh, chase after that guy. I believe we do have the 243 with us. So this should be pretty easy once we find it. Let's uh, see what we can do. Okay, so there is one of the coyotes. I don't know if the rest are going to be around it. I mean, they should because they were all together. We're just going to kind of watch this area and see if we can see the others pop out. I think there's a pretty good chance they will, or maybe they've already gone over the hill. It's a little bit hard to tell. Okay, that's a three right there. I'd say that level nine's probably shortly behind them. If I'm uh, not mistaken, I think it was in the back of the group when it was running by. So I think we should be good if we just wait a little bit longer. There's a two. So yeah, there's got to be that nine close. The nine has to be the next one to come out. Okay, so we've got the level five right there and the two as well. Uh, that one is starting to go alert though, so we do need to prone and hope that the rest of them come out. Uh, that's a three. I think it's going to be the same as the last uh, time where they're just going to come out one by one, but that nine's probably not going to be there since it wasn't the last time. I guess we will find out. Uh, worst comes to worst, we just head back to where we initially spotted them and hope they all return. And honestly, I think that might be the play. I don't really see the one that we're after, so we might have to just go back to where we initially spotted them and wait for them to, to return to their zone. Because I think that's probably what they're trying to do right now, but it's just uh, uh, not working out too well because we're kind of in their way. So let's just get back there and see if we can uh, get them to go back to their zones. Okay, so it looks like we did get the level 6 to come back, which means that 9 should be somewhere in there as well. We do have their resting zone now, so we can actually see how much time is left. And it uh, looks like... We've got about two hours left to try and get this guy down before their time will be up. Let's uh, hope that we can seal the deal on it soon. As of now, all I have to go off of it is uh, that little guy right there and uh, that level two as well. So hopefully the nine is close. Otherwise, this could become quite the issue. And there it is. That is the level nine right there. Let's uh, try to get this little dude to stop. Well, this is not going to be an easy shot at all. This thing is about 300 out. Yeah, 308. So it's going to be a difficult shot, but I think we can probably make this if we are very careful. Let's just do that real quick. Try to get them moving. And hopefully we can get a shot into it. Okay, I think maybe we can get it from here. This is about 190 away. That's it right there. I think we got a pretty good chance of maybe getting it out into the open. It's just this is going to be a really tough angle because there's really not much of a uh, window to actually take a shot. But this was the best spot that I could get to try and get it down uh, reliably. I just needed to stop for like two seconds. I think we got it. I think that should be good. And it definitely is. Oh my gosh. Wow, that thing gave us the perfect window. Just long enough for us to be able to take the shot there. That is uh, actually pretty crazy. I would not have expected uh, that to actually work out. I was really thinking that this was going to take a long time to actually get it on the ground. Uh, just because of how terrible this positioning is. But it does look like it actually worked out for us, which is pretty sweet. And if you guys couldn't tell by the uh, slightly, uh, I guess, more stuffed sounding voice, I am still recovering from the uh, Rona as of recording this. So that is uh, why I sound a little bit different. But that right there is a level nine legendary coyote. Please be a diamond. It's a diamond. 5690. That is super awesome. I think it's a little bit lower scoring than the one we got uh, about a week ago. 
but it is still a pretty good one. I'm just happy that we are finally getting some luck with these diamond coyotes. For the longest time, I just couldn't find any, and now we've got two of them. So that is pretty awesome. Definitely happy with that. But honestly, I suppose this is a pretty good start to a uh, video, so we might as well show a few highlights that I've been kind of saving back. I've been kind of just sitting on a bunch of different clips of diamonds and rares uh, for quite a long time just because they didn't really fit into any videos. So I figure why not let's just toss a bunch of them into one video. So I guess from here on, let's uh, take a look at a bunch of other different trophies that I have killed over the past few months. Hello there, you beautiful level 5 fellow. Oh my gosh. 171 away. Holy. Holy. Big male. <laughs> That's a big male right there. Oh my gosh. Along with uh, two tiny males. That thing looks wide. Could this be a 270? 264. Still really good though. Wow, that thing's 99.19 kgs. That's a big fallow. And that's a wonky one too. Man, if it would have been like this on both sides, that probably would have been our 270 fallow. Man, that's sad. It was so close to being like absolutely massive. But it's still a big one. 264 is good. Another... Another one. Another one. <laughs> Number two of the day. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. Diamond Fallow number two of the day. Multiplayer is delivering. Oh my gosh. Boop. 262.50. Nice. And wow. Yeah, that's why it dropped. Double lung, stomach, liver. That poor thing. Oh my gosh, that poor thing. Absolutely, brutally destroyed. 
Poor fallow deer. That's a good one though. Not too bad. I mean 262 is kind of a low score, but it's not bad still. It's still not bad. Hey. Uh, we're gonna do this, huh? Um, it could be a troll. It's got a 151 upper estimate. I think we might be able to get this though. Maybe it'll be a diamond. Maybe. It's got a really tiny chance. Actually, no. Is 152 diamond? I don't remember. It's a gold. <laughs> it did have a chance though. It did have a chance because if the upper estimate says 151, it can be clear up to 151.99. But it's a troll. <laughs> it still ended up trolling. It did have a chance though. It had a very low chance of making it. There was about a 0.70 margin for error. And uh, yeah, it just didn't make it. Hey, at least we got some good shots on it though. Troll buffalo down. 889.49 kgs. And uh, yeah, it's pretty sad, but... I guess, still cool, it's our first level 9. Ooh. Oh my gosh, hello there. Oh my gosh, I've barely seen any rares for these. Oh. Ignore that, wrong god. Uh. Ah, just gonna blame the fact that I haven't been playing. I have no idea if I hit that. I have no idea if I hit that. I think that's a leucistic. I think that's a leucistic one. Alright, well. Now we gotta be careful. Yeah, DJ, it's rough, man. Stuff's rough. Oh, there it is. Really? You 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 landed over the dip? Oh my gosh, there we go. Let's go. <laughs> Leucistic. Well then, that was uh, quite the chase, but we got it. That's awesome. Got ourselves a little Leucistic Rio Grande turkey. Well, I have been shooting a few animals here at the hotspot for respawns, just hoping to get something to respawn that was half decent. And I think we finally have something. It appears to be the very first either leucistic or albino uh, pheasant that I've ever found, which is uh, pretty sweet. It is just a female, unfortunately, but I guess that's what I get for shooting everything. However, it's still pretty cool. It's going to be an awesome addition regardless because I have never killed one of these things. And I think because it's female, we're probably just going to shoot it while it's on the ground and not have to worry about... Uh, getting it to flush out and then potentially missing it so let's just uh, get as close as we can and then try to take it out from about 150 all right so i think we are now close enough about 165 away yeah now we should definitely be close enough hopefully we can make this shot on the first try and not have to do any follow-up shots yep that'll do it so that is either an albino or a leucistic. I honestly have no clue yet. It's the very first one I've seen, so I'm not entirely sure how to uh, distinguish the difference between them in game. But regardless, that's really, really cool. Rare pheasants have been one of the hardest things for me to come across here on Rancho, as well as the rare peccaries. So anytime that I can get one, it is always a very exciting moment. And honestly, this kind of looks leucistic to me. I think at least. I don't really know, but I think it is. Let's uh, go ahead and take a look. Is this leucistic or is it an albino? It is leucistic. Okay, so I kind of expected that. It did look a bit, little bit more leucistic than it did uh, albino. It is just a female, but we're probably still going to put it in the lodge because this is the first uh, non-melanistic rare that we've killed, which is absolutely amazing. So that is going to be a pretty cool addition to one of our trophy lodges. 
Well, unfortunately, out of everything that we did show off today, there is only one thing that made it into the main lodge, and that is this little pheasant right here. We did get a lot of really cool trophies in this video, a lot of trophies that I had uh, been pretty excited to see, including that coyote that we got at the beginning of the video. But this is the only thing that was something new, so it is making it into the lodge, while the other stuff is going to go into probably one of the secondary lodges. And uh, some of them may just sit in my uh, trophy manager until I can find a place to actually put it. But this is such a cool trophy. I'm very excited that we finally managed to get one. And yeah, I'm just extremely excited. It's super cool to see something new finally getting added to our lodge. Something that we've never been able to come across before. Now we need to try and get some of the trophies that we still need. Like a diamond uh, feral pig or something like that. We also still need to get a diamond colored peccary along with some rares, so there's still a few trophies that we don't have in the lodge and I'd really like to eventually get them in here. But for now, that pheasant will have to do and I'm really excited that we ended up getting it. If you guys are brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click that like button and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss any future uploads. Also be sure to leave a comment down below if you guys enjoyed and I will try to respond to as many as I can. With that being said, thank you all for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.